Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing? Got another Outlaws of Thunder Junction Collector Boosters box. Uh, these things have been hit or miss, but when they hit, they hit hard. And even the misses, I think, still do pretty good. This is the first standard set in a long time that we have not lost money on every box we open. In fact, most of them are coming out in the positive. It's crazy. This is a standard set with master set level reprints in it. Like, lots of them, too. And you actually pull them. That's the scary part. We haven't even opened a full case of this. This is only box number five of the collectors. And we've already got, what, three mana screens? It's nuts. All right. Here we go. Let's see what's in these shiny packs. What do you think? Is this going to be a hit or a miss? It's been like every other one. So I think this is going to be a miss box. I think this is going to be a weaker box. I could be wrong, though. I hope I'm wrong. I hope they're all strong. I hope I just had that one miss. But it seems like it's been kind of every other box. <laughs> it's been very up and down. Treasure. Angel. Hostile Investigator for our first Mythic with the Showcase. These Showcase cards look really nice. Skullcrack. Arcane Heist. Key to the Vault. Step Between Worlds. Terminal Agony. Clear Shot. Forest. And that's it. All right. We did get a Mythic. But not one of the sought-after ones, at least not currently. Things could change any minute. So we can break this card, find a combo, and it could jump up like crazy. Mercenary Food, Sacible Avarice, Archive Trap, that's a good one. Uh, the Han, Laughing Jesper Flint, and Riku, Riku, I don't know. Roku, are you watching TV? And that's it. Okay, so... Starting off a little slow, I kind of figured it seems like it's literally every other box in the case. <laughs> but let's see. Hopefully it proves me wrong. Mercenary, Dinosaur, another Jasper Flint. I'll go with Eva Crowns with the showcase. There we go. And we write it on. Too bad he's banned and everything. Slick shot so show off. I love this guy. He's so good. And Territory Forge for another Mythic. Tyrant Scorn and back for more. And we got the Roadrunner. All right, we got a Roadrunner. Now we just need a Coyote. Last box, we didn't get either. I was so bummed. So bummed. Got to get one of each in every box, or it just doesn't feel right. Mercenary. Boo. Boo the blue moo cow. Problem, mate. Surgical Extraction. Good one. The artwork, not so much. But the card's good. Crackling Spell Slinger. Spiring Bandage for our first land. We'll keep track of those. Help to pay. Thornado, screw the cricks. One of my favorite cards. All right. Where's the beef? We got an Oko. We have an Oko. It's the band Oko, though. Mercenary and map. And a pretty force of vigor for another good mythic. I lost merriment. Isn't that the worst rare ever? I think that was a mythic and it was so terrible they downgraded it. Uh, Dune Chanter. Braska joins up, a cool, and a foil skewer the critics, and a tyrant scorn backwards. That was weird. Last time we got the tyrant scorn foil and the skewer non foil, this time we got them totally reversed. All right, now oh, box down, box down. Treasure, scorpion dragon. Oh, cool. All right, dust animus, dust bowl. Weird. And up. Oh, Foundry, and we totally give away the Ancient Cornucopia for our next Mythic, and a Garolf for two Mythics in a row, and Fling and Thornado. Garolf the Fleshlight? Oh, Flesh Right. <laughs> I could have helped myself. I had to say it. It's late. We worked all day. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mercenary, Human Warrior, gotta work early tomorrow. The Roku of many TV shows. Leyline Binding is a mythic. That's an uncommon. That's not a mythic. Or was it rare? No, I think it was a rare. Kiri for another mythic. Great Train Heist. Carve back the Punisher. Decisive Denial. And Ride Down. And there's our Coyote. All right, we got our pair. We got our cartoon. Our cartoon is activated. The, the stolen IP that... I guess it isn't technically stolen. It's it's stolen. 
mercenary spirit and hey look at this we got one of the textured mythics indomitable creativity look at this thing i don't know if you can see it but it's it's textured you can feel it these i guess are like a less than one percent chance of hitting so we're gonna throw that in a sleeve right away because that's a good hit nice all right decimate good card Heartless Conscription, and hey, a Generous Plunderer for another Mythic, and Bruce the Almighty, Clear Shout, Repulse, Mountain, and there we go. All right, four more packs. Yeah, I guess this uh, turned out to not be a dumpster fire box. Like I said, even the ones that aren't that great are still pretty good. <laughs> this set uh, is so much potential. Treasure, Noom, and a gorgeous Archive Trap Foil, and Electric Dominance, and Greywater's Fixer, Assimilation Aegis. I don't even think I've seen that card yet. There's that, and Harvester of Misery right behind it for two Mythics in a row. Buried in the Garden, the Savage Smash. And that's about it. Right, three more packs. Oh, we already got a textured card. That is interesting. So, there's supposed to be less than 1% chance, but that's our second one in this case. Just saying. Mercenary and Blood. Ariat, the Beguiler. And Path Exile is a rare. Darwinder and Spire Bluff Canal. Or Smuggler Surprise, Essence Capture, and Hypothesis. And, okay, two more packs. Let's do this. All right, Mercenary and Blood, Grand Abolisher for a nice little rare, or Mythic, I mean. Endless Detour, Chart Grave Robber, Bonnie Paul, and Cossack Bronco. He used to be rare. Hindering Light, Heartless Pillage. And there we go. All right, one more pack. Give us a big hit right at the close. You can do it. Mercenary, Zombie Rogue, Free Strike Lookout. Force of Vigor, that's pretty good. And Yuma, and Tarnation Vista, and Collector's Case. Four Mythics in a row. That's nuts. Well, we wanted to end with a bang. We ended with a bang. That was seriously four Mythics in a row. And three of them are good. <laughs> Two of them are really good. And then Collector's Case, I think, is pretty good. I don't know about Yuma yet. We'll see. But, wow. We got our Roadrunner and Coyote. That's the important part. That's always the important part. We got two of the lands. So it seems like two lands is pretty much the average. We don't get a lot of these lands. We needed them. We needed the reprint, but we don't get a lot of them. How many minutes did we get? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 mythics again. And I think we got some duplication in here, didn't we? I think we got two force of vigors. Um... I think we got two, well, yeah, two force figures, one full, one non full. And Oko and Tarnation Vista. Yeah, we got some good mythics in there. That was a pretty good box. Like I said, even <laughs> even the, the average boxes are really good. I don't know that we've lost money on any box from this set so far. This is a really good standard set. And the prices aren't out of hand on this one, so I would say snatch these up if I were you. I think they're gonna be golden. Uh let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description below. Click some of those links and uh, helps you out, helps me out. Win-win for everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye.